it going, guys? Welcome to Can You Game On It? So this week, we're back to boring stuff. Well, we had something really cool planned, which was a monitor, but uh, we had some technical difficulties. Uh, what to distract you? Look! It's my boyfriend. He's, uh, he's streaming me. He's streaming to me some uh, Sea of Thieves. Baby? 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 You there? Hello? Can you say hi to the mic? Hello? Yeah, that's him. See, look at look at his pirate. Look at his look at his pirate clothes. He's pirate legend guy. Way head up, she rises way <laughs> Anyways, I ran out of intros, as you can tell. Stick it an intro. So as I said earlier, guys, we're going back to basics. We're going back to traditionales. We're going back to the greatest pizza of all time. It's not pizza, it's phone. The Redmi Note 10 S. We've actually uh, reviewed the Redmi Note 10 Pro a while back, a long time ago. I was supposed to review this right after, but uh, yeah, we decided that we reviewed way too many phones. We decided to wait a few months after till we can review it. It's totally not my fault. I blame CK 100% for this. It's all CK's fault, guys. Guys. Let's talk about the specs first. It comes with the MediaTek Helio G95 processor, 8GB of RAM, and 128GB of internal storage, 6.43 inches. It's a nice size in my opinion. 1080p resolution. On the top here, you can see over here, this is a ZLV camera. 5,000 milliamp capacity battery. Like it looks like a normal phone that you see nowadays. It has a little bit of a chin, but it doesn't really bother me so much. I love the rounded edges, honestly, because it rests so comfortably in my hand when I'm actually gaming on it. Also guys, let's talk about the stereo speakers, which I am shook with about. Usually, for phones nowadays, like even the mid-rangers, you'd think like, oh, it only comes with one speaker. I mean, it sounds good, but one speaker still sucks for gaming. You get two on this phone. Also, the thing I really like about it is honestly the color. It looks great. It's a plastic back, by the way. So, um, I mean, what do you expect from like, you know, a budget entry-level phone? You can't expect glass or even aluminum back. But honestly, despite it being plastic, it still looks real good. Albeit, as you can tell here, fingerprint ma uh, magnet. You just put in the case. It doesn't really matter. You're, gonna still, you're still gonna use a case. Who doesn't use a case nowadays? So, for you guys, you could be like, oh, fingerprint. I don't use a case. Oh. Also guys, uh, speaking of like uh, the Type-C port here, also have a 3.5mm headphone jack. Great for those who want to use their own headphones. So let's go into the performance. I mean, we did mention before, or maybe, maybe I did mention earlier, it does come with the MediaTek Helio G95. And every time we talk about the MediaTek processor, everyone goes like, oh, like there's a collective groan in the room. Like everyone's just so annoyed about it. But I am just gonna say before I continue is that I am actually quite surprised in a good way about how great this processor is when it comes to gaming on this phone. Let's talk about PUBG Mobile. So PUBG Mobile is one of those games which is a little bit on the heavy side which makes phones get really hot. But for this phone, I kicked up everything to the highest possible. There's no HDR or Ultra and all that kind of stuff you can see in the screen here. But it's the highest possible and the highest possible FPS. And surprisingly, heating wise, not really that hot. Yeah, it got warm, but not that hot. Barely any lag and to Note, we were also recording on the device itself. So if you think like, you know, it doesn't look as great because of that, because just remember that we are recording on the device itself. So without the recording, it actually looks pretty damn good. All right, so next up, I tried out Wild Drift. You can actually go up to 60 FPS for this game. So yeah, this phone doesn't really have all those fancy schmancies high FPS, but honestly, let's be real here. You don't really need that high unless you're playing super competitive shooter games. So Wild Drift is not one of those games. 60 FPS is what I managed to kick it up with all the highest graphics possible. So one thing about Wild Drift I noticed is that when you're trying out on certain devices, once you kick it up to 60 FPS, it does tend to run a little bit warm or sometimes even hot depending on the phone. But with this phone, it was just normal temperature. It was warmish, but not that warm either. And it was a dream to play on. No lags, no stutters, and let's be real here. I played like a plat player, even though I'm iron. <laughs> All 
Alright, so the heavy hitter, the Genshin Impact. Wow. I have a lot to say about Genshin Impact and I will say it again before we continue. If you're ever gonna play Genshin Impact on mobile, do not, I repeat, do not play that game on 60 FPS unless you're on PC or have a super high tier machine like an iPad Pro or something like that. Because you are gonna not only melt your phone, you are also gonna melt your fingers. Don't say I didn't warn you. So for Genshin Impact, it was already on default medium. Let me just tell you, what you're looking on the screen is only because I'm recording on the device itself. So it looks absolutely laggy because I am recording. So once I turned off the recording on this phone, the game is absolutely smooth. I really, really enjoyed playing Genshin Impact on this phone. I say that about a lot of phones, but as an entry level phone, under 900 ringgit to run Genshin Impact on medium, I think that's really impressive so a lot of phones even when you talk about like high end or even like all that kind of stuff you can maybe just go up to high but medium and high in terms of graphics it doesn't really like super make a difference in my opinion unless you're kicking up to all the way up to highest so if you go more than high your phone is gonna get really really hot and it's gonna be really really laggy so 60 fps is absolutely out of question so for this phone to run that i think it's already great it wasn't laggy it was absolutely smooth i was able to combo effortlessly and one thing i realized about like playing games on this phone as well let's talk about like the screen input altogether I felt like there was barely any latency from my buttons. Like there are some phones where I'm playing Genshin Impact or even playing Injustice 2 where it felt like there's a little bit of a delay between my presses and the character on screen reacting to it. For this one, barely there. But yeah, that's uh, honestly really, really good. So trying out Injustice 2 on this made the photo slightly warm. Did I face any lagginess when I'm pressing the buttons? Absolutely not. Will I say I'm lagging? is the reason I'm lost. Absolutely yes. Anyways guys, to summarize it all up, can you game on the Redmi Note 10S? Absolutely, freaking lootly And I highly recommend this phone, especially for you guys who cannot afford the high-end phones. This is a great entry-level phone, great all-rounder phone, great for gaming, great for calls, great for taking photos too. I mean, there's not a lot to take photos when you're at home a lot in the pandemic. But all I know is my phone has a lot of photos of my cats and um, maybe you should take more pictures of your cats because cats deserve better. Anyways, bye!